Hello everybody and welcome back to another Doctor Who Who Vinyl series vinyl record review. In today's review I'm going to be taking a look at the latest release as a part of their original BBC television soundtrack series, this time round the 1960s First Doctor story, The Sense Rights, to feature William Hartnell as the First Doctor alongside companions Susan, Ian and Barbara. This record collector set is available to purchase now online from various different retailers including HMV, Zavi and Amazon at a recommended retail price of around £80. This is is a 3LP collector set with a lovely blue marble design and as always with this series they are of course limited edition so once they are sold out they tend to be sold out for good and as this series has progressed over the past few years they do tend to be getting more and more collectible. This time around you have this absolutely stunning piece of artwork on the front and it will look excellent alongside the other Who vinyl releases. So taking a look at the product itself, this might in fact be one of my personal favourite releases which has came out so far as a part of the Vinyl Who series. As soon as I opened this vinyl, I was greeted by this excellent cover artwork which really symbolises the story while simultaneously keeping it authentic to 60s Doctor Who. Also adding that splash of colour really brings it to life and creates a really dazzling collector's piece. As always, the collector's case has been made out of a lovely high quality cardboard, ensuring that the vinyl records are kept safe on the inside of the box. But also at the same time, this makes for a lovely presentation product. When you lift the case itself, it feels really strong, it feels high quality and it feels like a premium piece of merchandise. As always, the product does also come wrapped in cellophane, ensuring that it is kept safe when on the shop shelf. And towards the sides of this, we also have the usual Vinyl Who sticker, stating that this is a classic 1964 story, complete on vinyl for the first ever time. This is a three 140 gram vinyl record collector set with a Sensphere marble disc design, which we'll be taking a look at a little later on. So as for the artwork itself, this is absolutely beautiful. What I really like about the presentation on this vinyl record case is that it rather respectively captures the location of the story itself. They've really authentically recreated a number of locations within the story and amalgamated it into one piece of art, but also at the same time, the sense rights look excellent on the front, and it is in fact rather different compared to a number of the releases that we've seen so far as a part of the Vinyl Who series. In a really effective manner, we have this lovely almost porthole design which is framing the entirety of the artwork and this runs all the way around the side in a cylindrical manner. Towards the bottom of the piece, this is considerably dark, so we have lots of darker greys, blacks and darker blues. And then we have the detailing picked out of the porthole as well as the various frame sections coming around the side with a series of different shades of grey. Making this look incredibly space age, we also have a number of bolts running around the entirety of the piece and again we have a finish which has been applied to this which almost looks like a scratched sort of polished metal finish which looks really cool and again makes the spaceship kind of look quite futuristic. As we move towards the top of the piece, we have this lovely yellow glow which has been used. Again, this is beaming down lots of light onto the porthole itself, allowing for some of those details to stand out. And again, it kind of makes it look like the Doctor Who logo is also glowing under this beacon of light as well. So at the top, we have the BBC logo, which is in the usual white typeface, along with the current era Doctor Who logo. As always, this has been embossed with a lovely silver finish and really does stand out, in particular on this release due to the way that silvers and greys have been used. Below this we also have the title of the story, again picked out in a white typeface, and the same applies at the very bottom of the case as it states that this is the original BBC TV soundtrack for the story. Which for those of you that don't know, basically it is a recording of the TV episode itself, with linking narration added in to explain the visual cues. So the central focus of the artwork is of course this lovely sensorite taking up the vast majority of the centre porthole, and again the detail and finish on this looks absolutely superb. In particular, we have this lovely shade of blue design which has been used on the main sensorite suit. This is almost a swirled finish, looking almost like an oil painting, using lots of darker shades of blue in certain areas of the suit, and then some other details have been picked out using a lighter colour application. 
The sense right is also holding this unusual wand accessory, which also came with the 5.5 action figure released by Character Options. This looks very alien and again very detailed and very authentic to the prop as seen within the story itself. As for the actual likeness to the Senserites, again, this excellent swirl design has been used, and then we have a combination of orange, yellow, and white to bring out those details, as well as a darker, almost purpley shade to bring out a little bit of shading on the left-hand side of the face, and that rather almost ominous black eye design. Of course, surrounding the entirety of the face, we also have lots of facial hair, looking almost like a Professor-esque character, and the detailing on the beard, including the various different strands of hair, have been picked out excellently with an orange colour application. Again, I think that this is a really effective design, the way that they've managed to capture the likeness of the sense rights using these swirls. It looks incredibly cool and unique, and unlike any other Doctor Who artwork that I've seen. Towards the side of him, we also have another sensorite, however, this is quite possibly one of the coolest sensorites of all time, pointing almost towards the person looking at the piece, looking very cool indeed, and again, some excellent detailing has been used here to represent the costume in a rather faithful manner. Towards the back of him, we also have a glimpse to one of the locations within the story itself. Again, some excellent colouring has been used here, some darker purpling on the floor, a little bit of orange to almost represent those curtains in the background, leading to another area within the spaceship, but also those rather alien-esque coffee tables, which I'm pretty sure do crop up in quite a number of classic Doctor Who serials. We have a few more bits and bobs going on towards the opposite side of the porthole, so to start off with, we have lots of rather circular designs, of course you have that lantern almost coming down from the ceiling. A lovely glow is being emitted from this, where you can actually see the white light almost shining, which looks excellent. And again, we have almost a TARDIS archway there, coming off towards the centre of the piece, as well as a number of tables and computer components dotted around the control room. Rather unusually, we do also have two further sensorites towards the right-hand side, side, almost holding Susan's shoulder in a rather ominous manner, one of which is holding the little telescopes as seen within the story itself, sort of incorporating in the rather unusual personality that the sense rights have within the episode. And of course a rather unique thing for this release is that we actually have a reoccurring character. Normally the Doctor and his companions are left absent, but we have Susan there looking towards the central sensorite. I know that a few people on social media have questioned the likeness to Susan. It is a little bit simplistic, but you can most certainly tell who it is meant to be. And to be honest, it is a background character. She's not the central focus of the artwork. So to me, I think it works rather well. Once again, using various different shades of blues and whites to pick out some of those basic details on the face. I think that this overall looks really good. As per usual with this series, the darker colours do of course follow around to the side of the box where it does also state the Doctor Who logo as what's well the title of the story once again. And then as we flip around to the back of the box, we have a continuation of this excellent Space Age design. Again, this has been framed rather nicely in this porthole using and incorporating the same details, including some darker shades towards the bottom and this lovely yellow light beam towards the top. And now we have a closer look at the control room within the story itself, of course more focus on the various different panels and computers and almost a radar piece there in the very centre, looking very alien, very futuristic, and of course we have the TARDIS towards the side as well. As always, this is in fact a really nice and satisfying design, because throughout the entirety of the Who vinyl series within the collector sets, we always usually have the TARDIS landing in a certain environment which represents the story, and again the TARDIS design is exactly the same to all the other vinyl Who releases. Although at first glance this may look quite simplistic, there is in fact quite a number of smaller details on the TARDIS exterior, with even details of the locked towards the side, the pull to open signage, which can be seen ever so slightly, although it was kind of darkened a little bit. And then we also have, of course, the various panels on the windows and on all four sides of the TARDIS exterior, and the police public call box sign there at the top as well, also glowing with a slight suggestion of the light. All of this has this excellent colour palette applied over the top. We don't just have the basic TARDIS bloom. This time it is incorporating the colours which have been used on the front of the cover art, so we have lots of lovely shades of 
purples, pinks, yellows, and oranges, making it look like as if the environment is reflecting on the TARDIS. I think considering that this is a 1960s episode of Doctor Who, Demon Music Group have done an excellent job to really colourise, I suppose, this story and make it look cool on a vinyl presentation case. It looks very warm, very alien, but very Doctor Who. Towards the bottom, it also states that this episode stars William Hartnell as the first Doctor. The episode is written by Peter R. Newman, and it has linking narration by William Russell, who did, of course, portray Ian Chesterton. At the bottom, hiding away, we do also have a few company details, including the barcode, the BBC logo, and the Demon Music Group logo. As we open up the vinyl record case, we are greeted by the Time Vortex on the inside of the lid. This is also present on the base of the box. This utilises exactly the same colour palette to the cover artwork, therefore we have various different shades of bloom, creating this rather energetic time vortex, along with a lovely centrepiece of orange and yellows emanating out from the middle. Rather excitingly, this collector set does actually have a brand new edition for the first ever time as a part of the Vinyl Who series, and it is in fact the cover artwork once again, which at first may not sound exciting. However, this has been printed on a lovely high quality card. However, what is a really lovely touch is in the bottom corner, we have the Vinyl Who logo actually embossed into the card. Now this is an excellent piece, especially if you like framing your vinyl records. I know that HMVs sometimes do vinyl frames, so this will be excellent if you do particularly like this artwork and want to have it on display. As per usual, this collector set does also come up with the usual booklet. Opening this up, we are greeted by the entirety of the cast and credits for this six-part First Doctor serial. In the top-hand corner, we have the title of the story once again, as well as stating that this episode was first broadcast on BBC One between the 20th of June and the 1st of August 1964. And in the bottom corner, we have a number of production credits, both for the episode itself, the audio release, as well as this 2022 vinyl record release. As for the overall design and colours of this section of the record, once again we are utilising the colours which have been seen throughout the entirety of the cover art with this lovely shooting star effect, and of course the various characters also picked out with these colours as well. This is of course a three-piece vinyl record collector set, so when you put all of the records within a certain order, it does of course create an image, which is really nice as always. The first of which is of course the back of the box of the TARDIS exterior and the Sensorite spaceship, and then as we flip over to the opposite side, this does also include once again a larger version of the main cover art. A rather unusual feature of this collector set, which I don't know if it's present on all of the releases, is that the individual record sleeves are also wrapped in cellophane. I've never encountered this in the entirety of collecting Doctor Who records. Don't know if it was intentional, don't know if it was a mistake in the factory. However, if you like to keep your records extra safe, um, you can have them wrapped in cellophane, although you probably won't be able to play them. As always, of course, the record protector sleeve is made of ever so slightly thicker card. However, sliding out the main vinyl sleeve, this is the same design to always. All of the sleeves are exactly the same regardless of which record you are looking at, so on one side we have the TARDIS in the time vortex in the very centre, and then flipping around to the opposite side it also states the title of the set once again, the LP number, and then we have the episodes which are presented on that particular record, including its side and the individual episode title, because this is of course a 1960s episode of Doctor Who. A nice touch is also the broadcast date, as well as a full list of the casting credits, as well as a little bit of brief behind the scenes and a very brief little synopsis for the episode itself, almost looking a bit like a TV listing. And now, of course, for the moment that you've no doubt all been waiting for within this review, taking a look at the vinyl itself. What is a Sensphere marble disc design? Well, as always, Demon Music Group have done a great job of presenting something exciting rather than just a regular black LP. So this does differ ever so slightly from the promotional images. The actual record itself is this lovely, sort of jewel-like darker blue. And then if you look very closely, there 
is this excellent swirled marble effect in the very center. It looks superb when you hold it up to the light. As always, of course, one of the novelties of vinyl is that every single record is unique in its own way due to the way that they are made. So, of course, they will differ in design with various different swirls. Some may have more than others. So, when you hold it up to the light, it really does glow. It has this lovely transparent finish. It looks very visually pleasing. I'm very, very happy with it. In the very center, we do also have the usual Doctor Who logo, as well as stating the side and the LP number, as well as the individual episode title. So in summary for this review of the Doctor Who original BBC television soundtrack for the Sense Rights, pressed on three LPs, this is a lovely product. If anything, it might actually be one of my personal favourites, which has been released as part of this series to date. I think it is a lovely combination of design and colour scheme, and overall is really striking, and I think that is really important for 1960s Doctor Who episodes in particular, because we are so used to them being in black and white, and having a lovely colourised piece of artwork on the front which really does stand out, really sells the story and is definitely something different to add to your collection. I think the sense rights look excellent on the front cover, looking very alien, but also I love the way that the artwork actually celebrates the set design from the story itself. So as always with these records, if you are a fan of the series I most certainly recommend picking up this collector set, and certainly if you are a fan of the story as well. But as always, these records are kind of a collector's piece, so if you've got the previous previous releases you kind of know what to expect, it is an incredibly high quality collector's item, but undoubtedly will not be for everyone. If you are fine with watching this story on DVD or simply reading the target novelisation, then simply stick with that. This is for Doctor Who fans who want something a little bit different to add to their collection. So thank you very much for watching this review, I really hope you have enjoyed it. Do of course stay tuned on the host productions for regular Doctor Who content, and of course on that note, have a nice day, and I shall see you all next time.